Hey everyone, I'm the 13th Wolfman. You know what? Today is day 8. Yeah, day 8 of the 31 days of Halloween. Wow. Okay, so we're we're doing pretty good here. We're not we're not quite a third of the way through how uh October, but it's it's going along and man, I'm seeing a lot of really cool videos by other people out there doing 31 days of horror, 31 days of Halloween, 30 31 days half half October type stuff. So search it out, look for them. You'll see a slideshow of people at the end of the at the end of the video video um, that uh, that are doing their thing. And if you see anyone else doing that, doing this kind of thing, you know, come to come to this video and you know tell me about it because I want to see everyone's videos. So what do we have for day eight of thirty one days of Halloween? With 31 days, oh, with 31 days of Halloween, we gotta have everything, and this is a well, it's a remake. I I know that there's a handful of remakes in the schedule I have set up for this month, <clears throat> but this is one of the better remakes of the 2000s. It really is. It it set a staple for for remakes of what they could be, and and that is uh, Dawn of the Dead. Now, Dawn of the Dead is is a really, really good film. This was it's got Sarah Pauly, Ving Rhames, Jake Weber, um, Matt Frewer, Lindy Booth. You know, just to name a few. And it was uh, directed by Zack Snyder. Now, honestly, this this is to me way better than the original Dawn of the Dead. I know I'm going to get a beating for saying that, but honestly, I I like the original Dawn of the Dead, but if it wasn't for that stupid pie fight scene in the middle of the movie, it'd be a good film. To me, it just completely ruins the film for me. I don't want to watch... You know, once that, once that happens, I'm like, uh, it's taking me out of the movie. It takes too long for me to get back into it. It's just dumb. I mean, at one point, you know... George Romero said, hey, I know, let's put some Keystone Cops type of comedy in here and have a bunch of bikers come here and just start throwing pies at one another and then leave. Okay, yeah, that makes complete sense because that's what would happen in the middle of a, you know, zombie apocalypse or, a, or an uprising of zombies, you know. A bunch of bikers get together and just start throwing pies at one another. Yeah, okay. This, though... This is a complete, com, I mean, it's not a completely different movie. I mean, they all still go to the mall, but the story, the way it's weaved together is so cool. You do have some uh, some nods to the original film in this movie. You have one store named Galen Ross, which was the female from the original Dawn of the Dead. You have uh, Ken Foray. As the minister, minister saying, you know, when hell freezes over, or when there's no more room in hell, um, the dead shall walk the earth. You have Tom Savini as the sheriff, who was the biker, who is the head of the bikers in the original, and Scott. And I can never pronounce his last name. And I, but he was uh, he was the other cop from the original film. You know, so you have that going on for it, and that's a nice end. There's a helicopter that flies overhead at the beginning that has the the call letters for the TV station that Flyboy worked at. This movie itself, though, just has everything. Has I, I love this movie. I think it's one of the better sequels. You know, I mean, this really did set a standard for sequels. This and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003, they were like two sequels that came out like, this one came out in 2004, TCM came out in 2003, but within that two years, you know, it's like they set the standard that, you know, remakes could be really, really good. And I'm not saying that other remakes weren't really good, you know, because we do have the 1982 The Thing, so. But I'm just saying, I mean, in in the 2000s, a lot of remakes came about, and they they found a way to make them well. You know, uh, this is the unrated director's cut. I honestly don't even remember what the original film, what the difference is. So, 
But it's a good movie, and I'm glad to have watched it for day eight of 31 Days of Halloween. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? Do you? Am I crazy for thinking that this is one of the better remakes? Um, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, share. You know, and if you're doing some, if you're doing something like this, and you see this video, put your video uh, URL in the comments so I can click over and watch yours. With that, I'm the Thirteenth Wolfman. Of course, I'm on the prowl.